Hello there, this is Shao, and welcome to a special episode of Vox FX. Today's tutorial is a bit different than usual. I'm actually making this video as part of my contribution to Seamless's 100k collaboration project. For those who don't know, Seamless, spelled with an R on the end, is an electronic musician and YouTuber. He produces music, obviously, but he also makes various tutorials for music production, most famously his How to Bass series. I strongly encourage you to check out his content. He's got something for everyone, even if you don't make EDM. And no, he's not paying me to say that. I've put a link in the description to his channel, as well as to the video that explains this collaboration project. Basically, I have to create a sound and show how it's made, hence this tutorial. However, unlike my previous tutorials, this one will be fairly high level and technical, and might be hard for people to follow based on what I've released so far. I'll be explaining all the effects that I used in more detail in later tutorials, but for now, I'll just show you how I made this sound. With that out of the way, let's get started. My contribution. As you heard at the start of this video, my contribution is a vocal sample. Sound opening my ears, and I begin to hear my world in a new way. It leaves me speechless, endless possibility. Let's start from the top. I began by creating a basic backing track according to the specifications provided by Seamless. I also created a guide track for the vocals to make it easier to give a good performance. Yay, citrus presets! I then wrote up some lyrics and practiced them for a bit and then recorded five full takes. And in case you're wondering if that's actually me, let me turn this down real quick. Sound opening my ears, and I begin to hear my world in a new way. You get the point. So I listened to these takes, chose the best parts from each, and then combined them together into one master take, which is this right here. I begin to hear my world sound opening my ears and I be So then I recorded this take into Edison and popped it into Harmer. That's what this is here. I use Harmer for this sort of thing because I think it does large pitch changes more cleanly than new tone. I set the resynthesis precision to high and then pitched the vocal up an octave. Sound. That's where it is normally. Sound opening my ears and I be then I set the format shift to about here. I also messed around with the image format mutation a little. I found that this helps the vocal sound more female and less like a pitched up male voice. Your mileage may vary, but I think it sounds fine. Now that's everything I'm doing with Harmer. So I recorded this output back into Edison and then put it into New Tone. Let me just quick turn everything else off. Okay, here we are in new tone. I centered all the notes to a pitch and reduced the pitch variation to almost nothing. I kept it slightly above nothing because it created some weird artifacts when it was completely flat. I also set the pitch transition to zero because it makes it sound blippy. Then I went through each of the notes and listened to see if any of them sounded off. And if they did, I tweaked the formant a little bit. Once that was done, I rendered it out 
and tweak the timing a bit. And got this vocal. Sound opening my ears And I begin to hear My world in a new way Once I did that, I added a little bit of EQ to help it sound less nasally. Sound opening my ears And I begin Now this sounds kind of extreme, but it makes a lot more sense once you add the compressor. Sound opening my ears And I begin to hear My world in a new way It and as you can see, I'm compressing it pretty hard. All this compression made the S's a little bit too prominent, so I added a de-esser. Sound opening my ears, and I begin to... And then I added a chorus for some additional stereo width. Sound opening my ears, and I begin to hear my world... To make things a little bit more fun, I recorded this output into Edison and then used the Blur tool to create this sort of weird reverby clone, which I then rendered out alongside the original vocal. Now this is also being EQ'd, get rid of the highs, make it less in the way of the original vocal, and I'm also sidechain compressing it to make sure that the vocal doesn't get buried by the blur. And it creates this cool sort of Protoss type fading in and out. To help these two tracks fit together better, I routed them both into a reverb send. I like to EQ my reverb sends to help the reverb not be too obtrusive. I also like to put a little bit of delay before my reverbs. And for the reverb itself, I used Epic Verb, a third-party vintage modeled plugin. Now, the vocal sounds all right by itself, but I think it really shines when you hear it in the context of a track. Let me show you. Sound opening my ears and, and in the track. So there you have it, my contribution to the Seamless 100K collaboration. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. If you liked what you heard, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions about this vocal effect, comment below. I'm always open for questions. And as always, if you'd like to request a VoxFX tutorial, please send me a message. Remember, if it's talky, I can talk about it. As I stated in my last tutorial, Next time, I'll explain what makes a sound voice-like, and use that to explain formant filtering. Until then, have fun and keep making sound. If you're watching this seamless, hi, I hope you like what I made. I'm a big fan of your tutorials and I've been watching you for years and I, okay, calm down, calm down. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. I really appreciate your time. You're so awesome.